It is officially the longest day of the year and we are taking full advantage of it. Right now it's about 4 a.m., plenty of light out. We're gonna head out to Lake Superior, do some near shore trolling. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. All right, we have made it out here. Canadian waters, a lot of structure up on this northern shoreline, um, contrary to down around the Duluth area, North Shore area. But so kind of what's going on right now is the water's starting to warm up. These lake trout make a push shallow this time of year. How shallow, we don't really know right now. You're gonna have to come out here and just figure it out on a day-to-day -day basis. But right now we are gonna focus on humps and points outside of these islands along the north shoreline here. So right now, 200, 300 feet of water, and there's a bunch of humps that come up to 50, 60, 70 feet that are gonna hold lake trout. So we, our plan for today is just to troll over them, down diggers, planer boards, um, and see what we can get going on. So it's a beautiful day, sun shining, light winds. We're gonna get the lines in the water and hopefully it won't be too long before we get a, get a fish on the line. Everyone has their own definition of home. For Dave and Susan Bauer, it's the road. But when a crash and rollover put the brakes on a trip to Florida and stranded the Bowers in the middle of nowhere, they needed to rely on a little help from their friends in the faraway land of West Bend. West Bend issued a check for the damages so quickly that they were able to continue on to Florida in a new truck pulling a brand new trailer. So they could still enjoy their non-refundable place in the sun. Ask your independent agent about putting a silver lining behind wherever it is you call home. At Hartel's Disposal, we are proud to be your local hauler for over 65 years and three generations. Our focus on customer service has allowed us to become the largest locally owned trash and recycling company in the greater Duluth area. Servicing both residential and commercial locations, we have disposal solutions for every need. Trash and recycling containers, dumpsters and more, we have it all. Looking for a new and exciting career? We are now hiring for multiple positions. Visit us at Hartels.com today. This is chaos. This leg core rod got hit. This down has got a fish on it. All in the first two minutes of fishing. This is what's fun about fishing a new area is you just never know what can happen. Like, I don't even know what this fish is. If it's a trout or a salmon, it looks like a lake trout. Nice. That's fun, guys. <laughs> We're gonna get this one in the boat here. Look at that. That is a healthy Lake Superior lake trout on a gorgeous June morning. Water temps are starting to warm. These fish are moving high in the water column. We don't need to get down very deep. We're gonna get this one back because we have another fish right here. But yeah, I mean, it's that time of year, that magic time of year. I've always said when your water temps reach 45 to 50 degrees, your lake trout are gonna suspend. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. So a new area, you can never go wrong using down riggers and lead core. And we're pretty safe with four colors of lead. Another lake trout. Perfect, he got off right there. That is a heck of a start to what's gonna be an awesome day out here on Lake Superior in a brand new area. We've only been trolling for two minutes and that's two fish, amazing. Total speculation. Looked at the graph. 
We looked at the map, the contours. Said, hey, it looks tro looks trody to me. Let's go fish it. And here we are. And there's fish. Kind of all around Lake Superior. If you see an area with with humps and a lot of deep water around it, you're gonna have fish. So this is that four colors of lead core rod again. So so far we're just kind of letting the fish tell us what they want. Downriggers down 45, 50 feet in a four color lead. Our two color lead has not got hit yet. So we're gonna swap that out. We have plenty more rods in the boat with a little more lead on the reels. And we're gonna put those out. So it just seems like the, all these fish are down, you know, 30 to 50 feet. Look at that guy. <laughs> oh, is he? That's a cool fish. Wow, super short nose on him. Soft, look at that. That's a, a fish that we see like the subspecies of lake trout that we see way on offshore reefs in the middle of the lake. It's cool. It's like smaller. I guarantee you this fish is probably over 20 years old. Small. They just don't grow. They're kind of like skinny and kind of odd looking. Bigger heads on them but super narrow down in here. This is a fish that lives very, very deep a lot of the year. Awesome, man. <laughs> what a start to what I think is going to be an incredible, incredible day. Let's get her back. There she goes. That right there is what it looks like, what we are trolling on. Again, these are kind of like little, almost like little landmines. They're just kind of rock pile, rock pile, rock pile, scattered about maybe three, 400 yards apart. And these aren't very big, but there are trout on them. So we're kind of trolling in between, zigzagging around. The majority of our fish have come right off the tops of these rock piles. We've got a couple off on the sides over the really deep water, but what these trout do is they slide up, they feed, then they move off and they'll stay suspended. Again, guys, the water is right now 47, 48 degrees. So these trout are gonna be up high. There's a lot of debris on the top of the, on the surface of the water, bugs, that's where all your food's gonna be. That's what these trout are gonna eat. So um, that's kind of what the, what the structure looks like out here. Again, the, the charts out here, they're, they're, they'll get you close. They're not always 100% accurate. So some of these humps exist, some don't. Some are off by a couple hundred feet either way. But it's kind of a, just a good general rule to give you an idea, get you in the right zone because you can find spots like that around the whole lake. And I guarantee you there's gonna be lake trout on them. We get a lot of questions about how we rig our fiberglass 219 Lund for trolling. And here is how. Trax Tech is the name of the game when it comes to durability and reliability in trolling gear. This here is a 36 inch track that we use actual screws to screw down into the fiberglass. Again, it's kind of hard to get underneath here, so they are not bolts, they are screws, and they do not budge an inch. This is a four tree Trax Tech rod holder. Again, impeccable design and durability. These do not break, they do not bend, they do not give. I cannot recommend them enough. Back here, this is a six inch track that is bolted. Contrasted to this, which are screws, this is bolted because you can get underneath there and put a lock nut on the back side of those. So this is a six inch track to our downrigger here. Again, drilled directly down into the fiberglass. It is rock solid. You do not crack the gel coat. It does not move. It does not budge. It's as stable as can be. So manual downriggers, why manual? My question, my answer is they always work. You don't have to worry about blown fuses, anything tripping, like no matter what, could go, anything could go wrong, your manual downriggers are always gonna work. And plus, we always don't fish very deep anyway. So 50, 60 feet max, you can get them up faster than you can any electric downriggers. So again, that's just kind of a quick rundown on how our boat is rigged for trolling. Again, Trax Tech, these are screws up here. These are bolts back here either or, you know, they were great and they're gonna help you catch more fish day in and day out. We wanna talk about a good downrigger rod. Nothing in my mind beats the St. Croix Icon 7 foot 6 telescoping trolling rod. It's lightweight and you get a heck of a fight out of 5 to 10 pound fish, but it can also handle bigger 20, 25 pound fish if you do happen to, to stick one. This guy's running. <laughs> He's not happy. 
great all around rod. You can use them for planer boards, but in my mind, they excel as a downrigger rod. You can kind of count on this bite every single year when those water temps start to warm up for the first time of the season. They get into that upper 40s and these lake trout move shallow and they become active. Look at that beautiful trout. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. So far today, they're all kind of the same size, but there's nothing wrong with that when you are literally catching them left and right. It's hard to keep lines in the water. But that's the reward about trying new areas all alone at this whole area to ourselves and lake trout baby Whew. there we go gorgeous fish pretty colors on that one little different texture no two fish are the same out here awesome <laughs> they are so spunky they are so full of energy. Oh, they release well too. Well, once your water temps get into the upper 50s, low 60s, lake trout kind of, you might have to slow the boat down to help release them. But when you're in the 30s, 40s, low 50s, they go right back. Right. Four color lead. Another fish on the board. Seems like they're kind of slipping a little bit deeper. It's been just hot all morning. Seems like anything that we put down, they hit. But the bright colors have really been the ticket. Got a steelhead on. Nice. Just caught this female steelhead. Running uh, four colors of lead on a planer board. This fish was in the river about, I don't know, maybe a month ago. She spawned, and uh, now they're sliding back out into the deep water. Um, these fish, they'll cruise out in this open water all year long, and uh, you just never know when you're gonna get one out here. That's the nice thing, we're out open water, fishing these humps, and pick up a nice steelhead like that, you can't really go wrong. There we go. Kind of a good tip is if you see that rod tip bouncing, kind of set the hook, not on the fish, but to pop the line out of the clip and then reel as fast as you can to catch up to that fish and eliminate that slack line. It's so interesting. That fish came over 173 feet of water and we were 35 feet down. That goes to show you how suspended they are right now. Kind of a smaller one, but Again, this has all been in like an hour and a half, two hours. Like not much time at all. The amount of fish we've seen today is absolutely incredible. Look at that lake trout. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him. Unbelievable amounts of fish. A new area in our pocketbook. I know there's certain times of the year where there's gonna be monsters in here. I cannot wait to get back. This is going to conclude our episode for today. We have glass calm conditions. We are going to put away the trolling gear and do something different. But what a time we've had. Awesome lake trout like this, one after another and a bonus steelhead. You can't beat it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.